So we are here with Darren Goff at the Kia Oval and we're going to get into the nitty gritty now of what's going to happen in this series and I'm going to ask you the million dollar question, who's going to win the Ashes? Oh, 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 oh. I, I want to say it's going to be really, really close. Um, I think it will be closer than a lot of people think. On paper, purely because of Australian conditions, um, I'm going to go Australia just to clinch it. But having seen the Australia team for the first test match, it, my confidence is growing that England have got a serious chance. But it's all about the start. Let's be honest about it. Having been there a few times, it's all about Brisbane and it's all about the start for England. And in terms of, of how it's going to go, um, you said it's momentum so important. Could you see there being a possible whitewash? Obviously, two five nils in the last three. Or do, think, or do you think England will get on the board? <sighs> Test cricket this day is you don't get many draws, do you? Let's be honest about it. No. Most games now finish in three and a half to four days. Yeah. Um, I don't think it'd be a whitewash. It shouldn't be a whitewash. We've got so many match winners in the side. Let's be honest about it. We ain't got Ben Stokes, who's our biggest match winner. But we've got Alistair Cook. He's a match winner. He get, when he gets hundreds, he gets 170s, 180s. When Joe Root gets hundreds, he gets 170s, he gets 180s. With a ball, Broad normally wins you a game on his own in a series, one game on his own, and he contributes as a team to a, probably another victory. So, Anderson, <laughs> what's he got? 600 wickets now? I don't even know where he's got, he's got that many. I've lost count. But he's another one, he wins the game. So, I can't see it being a whitewash. We've got too many guys who can win us a one individual game off on their own. So, if you had to plump for a, for a score, for a scoreline? <laughs> If I have to plump for one, and I was going to put my hand and cash down, I'm going to go 3-1 Australia. One will get washed out, or be a draw. There you go. And then, looking at our squads, we've spoken a bit about both squads, but which players do you think are going to use this series to really state their claim and, and be at kind of the forefront of their team's efforts? Well, Anderson, he's getting on now, right? His last tour to Australia averaged 47 with a ball. I think the one thing he wants to finish his career with is a good series against Australia in Australia because that is the, when anybody asks if he's, is he world the world best, they'll always go back to his Ashes record in Australia. He, he, he's not really uh, performed to the level he should do compared to everybody else. So I think he needs he wants a big series. He's desperate to do well this series, and I hope he really I hope he does. Stuart Broad. Has got a good record, I think, yeah. against Australia. In Australia, they ate him out there. Oh, yeah, exactly. well, especially <laughs> when we won it. Yeah, but I think Moeen Ali is a big one for him. Yeah. Um, I really do. I think he's now one of our main players. Um, we've seen with a bat, he's very strong. People talk about he's, sus he's suspected a short ball. We've seen him practicing, haven't we, all winter in the nets with Collingwood <laughs> in the nets, practicing that short ball. Is it in his head or is it just something he's working technically on? We'll all wait and see because I can assure you now when he comes in, Mitchell Stark, Cummins, they're going to be at him. He's, the short he's, not, ball. Yeah, he's not going to play the football, is he? And then on flat pitches, what will he, his off spin have an effect? Because he's been so important. He's, he's nipped in with some fifers, hasn't he, over the past few years. Now, off spin is going to be vital. We've seen Nathan Lyon for Australia over the last two years when people started calling him average. I remember he came over to England and said he's the worst spinner Australia have had for years. He's nearly got 300 test wickets now. <laughs> 300 test wickets, Nathan Lyon. So I think we owe him a, uh, an apology and a round of applause. And we need our spinner to be on par with him. Because I'm a bit worried about Mason Crane. If he gets a chance, I don't think he's quite ready. And that's the big concern. In England's batting order, there's been a lot of talk always about Stokes being missing, about the likes of uh, Milan and, and Vince, who may be in balance, who people are surprised are there. Is Johnny Burstow maybe the forgotten man of, of England's team? Is that, you know, it's a class I think act. he likes it like that. I think yeah. he likes it coming in down the order. The balance situation was always going to get picked. For people who didn't think balance was not going to go to Australia, they're having a laugh. <laughs> the coaching staff, and I know I work with them in the summer, the coaching staff, as in the head coach, mm. loves him. He's seen something in him where he thinks he will be a test cricketer. He's left-handed, he's, gri gri he's gritty, determination. The unfortunate thing for him, he batted three. Um, now, if you look where he batted for the Lions and look where he batted for his county, it was at four or yeah, five. five. He's not a three. So I think if he's used, I don't think he's going to be now because I think Milan's sealed his place it, with yeah. a, a fine hundred um, and he's played well over there with a couple of fifties as well. So it's good to have him um, in the background. If one of them fails, if either Vince or Milan fail, uh, but the, Vince has got to perform. Otherwise, Root has to go up to three, so Vince has to get runs from straight away. They've took the gamble on him, 
Uh, they didn't take Wesley. They took the gamble to go back to Vince. Um, so he's going he's gonna to start the series really, really well. Now, the way he likes to play Vince, great off his legs. He plays some pretty shots through the, the offside. Unfortunately, similar to Wesley, when he's slightly out of form, he chases yeah. and wide and he nicks off. Now, they're going to ball the channel to him. They're not going to ball at his stumps. They're going to ball the channel and wait for him to play a bad shot. But it's a big series for him. I've no worries about Cook and uh, Root. I think they'll have strong series. I mean, talking about the two captains, Joe Root and, and Steve Smith, I mean, how, how important is it for them? You feel like in the Ashes series more than any other, the captains really have to come to the front. Yeah, they do, and they always stand up. Uh, the, the, the best captains, you get the best, uh, bring out the best, don't they? Look at Steve Waugh, time and time again, uh, just stood up. Alan Border, the Australians, that's what they like about their captains, Ricky Ponting. Uh, they're, they're strong guys. And, Even uh, for England, you know, born, yeah. born and cook. Vaughan, yeah. Vaughan's record, 10 tests, I was talking about this the other day, 400s uh, against Australian 10 tests, uh, which is a great record. When you compare to someone like Graham Gooch played 42 tests, and people say what a great player he was, which he was, he only got 400s yeah. in 40 yeah. odd tests. Yeah, yeah. Alistair Cook, most runs ever for England. How many run tests against, he got that one series where he got 700 odd runs, mm. but he's only got 400s against Australia. Peterson's, and your Vaughan's got 400s in very few tests compared to them. And that's what we need. We need our captain, Joe Root, to come up to the plate. We've seen what a great player he is. He wants to be the best in the world and come out and knock us 300s in this series. That would be the dream. I'm up for it. Goffey's definitely up for it. Let's hope England are up for it. Before you have any bets, make sure you check the Odds Checker site ahead of the big first test.